Hi there, this is Asaf from Opinion Stage. In this short video, I'll show you how to create a survey and embed it in your Squarespace site. So let's start. I'll start by logging into the dashboard. Now you'll notice that there's a My Item tab and a Templates tab. You can either start from a template or from scratch. If you want to start from scratch, you can go over here and click Create New and Survey. In this case, I'll click on the templates and select a survey template. That's the easiest way to create a survey. So over here, I'll kind of browse the different types of surveys, customer feedback survey, product feedback survey, event feedback survey, like art, and so on and so on. There's a lot of different feedback surveys and satisfaction surveys and others. For the case of this video, I'll let's say I want a customer feedback survey. So let's click on it. Now let's check it out to see that I like it quickly browse through it. Okay, so let's say I like it. I'm going to click Use Template. This will copy the template to my items. And now I can start working on it. So I can change everything. I can change the text. I can change the images. Um, for this case, let's, let's say we want to change the first question just as an example. So let's say, say what was your vegetable? Say your fruit. And you can click either Save Draft. In this case, I'll just publish for the sake of the example. Now, there's a lot of advanced features over here. You can change the look and feel. You can uh, integrate with a lot of different marketing automation and a lot of different things you can do. We have, of course, Skip Logic, integrating leads. You can gather uh, in more information about the users and a lot of different settings. But again, let's continue and click Embed and Share to put this survey on my Squarespace site. So over here, I'm going to click the iframe tab, and then I'm going to copy the iframe code. And I'm going to move to my Squarespace site. This is just a short text I wrote. Um, and I'm going to click plus and look for the code element. I'm going to paste the code I previously copied here. And that's it. Hope you found this uh, video useful. And good luck.